So on the vlog this week, I have been racing quite a bit. So I've been to a few different running events. I've done a couple of run through events and I've also done a park run as well. So I thought I'd show you guys a bit of behind the scenes footage with me going to these events themselves, but also maybe give a bit of information on how I managed to improve my time from around about 42, 43 minutes to 37 minutes within the space of a few months. And uh, I had to caveat that my PB is actually 33 minutes for the 10K. I did that when I was about 16, 17 years old. So I had the pedigree in terms of running that sort of time, but I've spent 15 years not getting anywhere near it. So I thought it might be interesting to go behind the scenes and give you more information on how I did that. So today I actually came and ran the Nantwich 10K. First 10K I've done in a little while. Um, I was uh, apprehensive to see how fast I would go um, or how slow I would go and I hadn't really prepared for it in any way, no sessions, nothing like that. But um, yeah, I felt really good. Managed to get a um, time of 37, like 48 or something like that, which is like pretty decent. Um, I probably thought I was in like 39 shape just based on like keeping generally fit, but I'm wearing a pair of those uh, super shoe things. And uh, I definitely think it made a difference in terms of uh, pace. You just feel a bit easier running at a faster pace. So, so I think with some quick guys at the front end, the quick girls at the front end, you get some really fast times on there. There was prize money available today for this race. I wasn't quite in with that, that pace. I think the winners were like 31, 32. But I'm really happy with uh, how it went. Great event. Great work by James Tilly and Rob and their teams here at uh, Natwich, Becky and Katie and Charlotte and everyone, Josh, Tracy, everyone who's here today, smashing it. And um, yeah, see you soon, guys. How do you think it's gone? Oh, I think mean, it's gone amazing, like absolutely buzzing. I was a little bit stressed before, but uh, yeah, we've had a massive turnout, weather's perfect, and of course it's been amazing, so yeah, loving it. I think Josh is the, the person that gets the most amount of people messaging afterwards and say, that guy Josh, he was amazing. Of course, like, honestly, every week I still keep writing it in our Slack groups and saying, like, Josh, again, I, such an inspirational person, like, it's an honour to have him work with us at these events. Josh is doing some fantastic other things with his, his career, his entrepreneurial career, setting up things. He's always on TV at some point as well. Hey. So, yeah, I, I can't wait to see what the world, uh, the future holds for Josh. Oh, long live me, long live Matt. I love you all at Run Through. <laughs> Where are we today, Lucy? Park run! <laughs> and we, we might manage to find a race on a weekend off from cheering a people on. A weekend off. <laughs> cheering just people can't on. get away. <laughs> Right, now then, Louis. Ah. <laughs> so this weekend we're at our good friend Luke's wedding, and uh, we thought before the the day starts, and you know what it's like at weddings, we'll go for a little run, a little 5k blast out. Bridport Park Run, yeah, as you do. Find a local park run um, down in the south coast, Jurassic Coast, and we thought we'd blast out a. Uh, a 5k run, how fast do you run there, Lewis? Were you? Uh, about 17 minutes, I think. Did you win it? Yes, yeah. So yeah, Lewis yeah. takes the yeah. win, standard. I think you were like top five. I think I came six, oh. I think, yeah. But so I got under 19, which was nice on the grass and all that. But yeah, yeah. Took yeah. It's actually a really nice little route. The comeback is on. The comeback, the comeback is on. <laughs> that is flying. 37 <laughs> minutes for 10k last weekend, 19 for a three lap part run this weekend. All right. But as you say, it's good to get out if you know, you're know you watching this and you're sometimes worried about racing and stuff. You know, if you're running easy during the week, why not go and have a blast out at a 5k, 10k, yeah. race park run, run through event, whatever you choose. But it's good to get that heart rate up and it's Definitely, enjoyable, yeah. isn't it? Get out of the door, really good. early doors, yeah. right. Nice one, we're gonna enjoy the rest of the day, but we'll speak to you soon, guys.
Jen. <laughs> Come on, this way. Five miles to go back. <laughs> Look at the view. Amazing, yeah. Oh, so good. Yeah. So good. So good. Good luck guys, good luck. Hey guys, so today I've popped into the Cannock Chase Running Festival that Run Through organised. We've got a half marathon, a 10k and a 5k all happening here at the event here today. Beautiful, beautiful location in the Midlands. Fantastic transport links to get to this location. And I just thought I'd come down, run the 10k. So over the last few weeks I've been doing a little bit more racing so over the last like three weekends i've actually done a race and uh my aim in that doing that is just kind of keeping myself fit using it as a tempo run really because i find it really hard to get out on my own and do a fast run so i thought if i jump in with a race i'm guaranteed to run a little bit faster than i would do normally and uh, it's helped me improve my kind of ability to run at a faster pace as well and when i run my eight minute miles, nine minute miles, my heart rate tends to be a little bit lower because I am a little bit fit because I have come and done races like this today. But yeah, it's a really cool location. It's a trail race, so a bit different to your normal running event. Um, so a beautiful, beautiful background. You can see right now I'm in the middle of a lot of trees, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Um, but the race itself actually takes in quite a lot of it here at Canic Chase as well. So yeah, looking forward to it. Good day, everything's set up. The half marathon's off on its way and they're all running quite well right now. And I've got uh, the 10K starting on about 15 minutes time. So uh, we'll speak to you soon, guys. Right, just finished the Canuck Chase Running Festival. Did a 10K today. I'm here with my good pal, Paul Bradshaw. Hi guys. 147 800 meter runner back in his day now. Just, uh, Congratulations, what are you now, buddy? Who are you? I'm still trying to work out that, to be honest. <laughs> trying to finish some courses. Uh, how do you find it today? Yeah, good. Beautiful, canic chase, um, beautiful course, a little bit undulating, but you feel like there's more negative than up, so uh, yeah, beautiful. Like, it wasn't like too much like up to us, because you come down really quick. Like, I was getting like five something on the downhills, then the uphill I was like, oh, 7.30. Yeah, even when but, you do hit like, uh, an uphill, it's that short that you're kind of running downhill before you can moan to yourself about it, so uh, there's no like really long drags, it's kind of like just up and down, and it actually breaks it up rather than just being like just the, the same track all the way through. Yeah, definitely. Have you got a Blackman Harry's vest on here? Yeah, we've got a Blackman vest from the same club since we were little. I don't think we've ever done a race in anything but a Blackman vest. I know, uh, I, I brought my run through vest today. The only vest I'll wear apart from a Blackman vest will be a run through vest. But... Yeah, I promised me one of these as well. <laughs> I'll get one of one. So, on this video, you've seen me at a few different events over the last few weeks. I've taken on a 10k at Nantwich, taken on a 10k at Cannock Chase, and also did a park run down in Dorset. So, three different events. I haven't really specifically trained for these events. I haven't been going out my way to put a plan together to perform at these actual races. What I've done over a period of time is just build on my initial fitness. And then in the last, I'd say, eight weeks, ramped it up in, in, a, in a different way to what I've done before. So I've been running my whole life and from when I was young, competing at a really high level and running fast times, I, I, I was running over the track like 151 for the 800 meters and around 33 minutes for a 10K when I was around about, just turned uh, 17, so 16, 17. So I was quite quick at a younger age and now 15 years on from that, I'm trying to get back into it and trying to keep myself more fit and active. And one of the ways that I do that is just keeping running on a regular basis. And I will go out three to five times a week to do that. I started stretching every single day. So I started doing a stretching session for 20 minutes every day and I haven't missed it, anything apart from things like three days I've missed in three years because I was at stag do's and I got a bit drunk and I, I didn't do them. 
So I've been consistent with that one thing. And because I've done that, it means I'll be able to run a little bit more. I've been living a normal lifestyle in terms of eating what I want, when I wanted, and I've done that for the, like, the entirety from when I started that stretch until now. I went through a period of time where I was doing 10 miles a day, five days a week, so 50 miles a week for about a year, which culminated in me doing an ultra marathon about a year and a half ago. And then I had a bit of a break and I've come back into it since. And what I've found in the last eight to 12 weeks is that I've changed my diet a little bit. So what I've done is I've started eating essentially a little bit less right, in terms of not eating four cookies after dinner every night, which is what I did. And doing that has helped me drop a little bit of the, the weight that I was carrying while still training at a good level. I'm running around about say, for fun, I can jump out the door and run a 40 to 41 minute 10K. With that weight drop, I found myself being able to be a bit more competitive. I feel a bit lighter on my feet. I can push myself a little bit more on my uh, training runs and, and these races that I've been doing. And because of that, I jumped up to 37 minutes the other week. And not only that, and this is something that people won't tell you, it is those carbon shoes. They honestly give you a minute, like at least a minute at 10K for someone at my pace. There's a big jump in pace based on those carbon shoes. But I also think that me jumping from 41, 42 to 38, 37, where I actually ran, is actually something that um, I wanted to share. I enjoy the training it did to take to get there, but over the last few weeks and being a bit more focused on my own body and mind, I've actually found myself been really enjoying it again, in terms of thinking I can actually become like an athlete again. I can actually try and become someone who maybe not runs 33 minutes anymore, but gets close to that. And that's exciting for me. And that's just been literally a, a diet change that's helped me realize that. Something that I've changed that I haven't still focused on, that now I've focused on that's made a big difference in terms of the weight I'm carrying when I'm running is, is a real game changer for me. So hopefully that's a bit of an insight into what's happened over the next last few weeks. I will, over the next few weeks and months, give a few tips on how to change that diet and, and what you can do to, to improve that. But also, not only that, to give you a few tips on the training that I've been doing and tips that I've picked up over the years, being a, a love for a sports scientist when I was working here, working closely with the new levels and running retreats teams and listening to those guys. I'm not a running coach, but I, I'm interested in everything to do with running. And I've spent years watching thousands and thousands of runners cross the finish line and run through events and speaking to them and gaining insights into all that sort of stuff. So I've got lots of knowledge from that perspective and um, I hope I can give that across to you guys in some way or another through these videos.